Now let's go to Steven, who's with a dynamic duo. All right. Thank you very much, Holly. I'm sitting here with our friends Davey and Jade from AFI, and now their amazing, amazing project, Black Audio. Guys, welcome to The Sauce. Hello. So Hello. good to have you here. Thank you So for good to talk us. to you. Um, this record, Sex Sells, Really, really damn good. You guys did an incredible okay. job on Thanks it. Thanks a lot. Thank and you. you were behind. You were behind the boards. You were producing yes. it. So let me ask, AFI, uh, you know, not hurting for fans or success. Why did you decide to do Black Audio? Well, this is obviously a big departure. Ele totally mm -hmm. electronic music, and um, it's the only way we really we could explore that side of. We, we love electronic music. We mm -hmm. have since we were, you know kids mm -hmm. and so the only way we could really truly explore that is to just do something completely different because we don't want to make AFI songs that are electronic mm -hmm. it's not what AFI right. is about. Now this has been your brainchild for, for a long time uh, how long have you actually been working on Black Audio? We've been talking about it since about 2002 but it's mainly talk and really only in the last you know six months to a year did we mm -hmm. actually creatively put it together and write the songs and finish okay. the So record. you're happy it's finally out? Oh yes because like we say we've been talking about it for a long time. Now, uh, now since it is electronic who do you like in the electronic world and genre? Oh, I mean, ours, you got tons of stuff. I mean, we listen <laughs> to everything mm -hmm. from, yeah. you know, BT and mm -hmm. Underworld oh, and wow. Tiesto mm -hmm. and Open the Fold BT. to, you know, the big beat stuff like Chemical Brothers and the Crystal Method mm -hmm. to, um, you know, uh, current European bands like Covenant mm -hmm. and, um, you know, BNB Nation. There's some American bands like Iris. The older stuff like Go Depeche back. Mode Depeche. and yeah. Knights of Reb and uh, oh, Ministry, Front 242, Erasure, Pet Shop Boys. Sputnik. See, we could do this all day yeah, long. Yeah, we could do it all day. <laughs> now, now, were you were you pleasantly? I mean, it had to be pleasantly, but just shocked that Sex Sells debuted at, at number eighteen. Was that so really surprising? Yeah, I mean, both because it's a side project, and mm -hmm. even though you know AFI does have a lot of fans, a lot of people still don't know about the band. And plus, it's electronic music, and electronic yeah. music in this day and age isn't exactly high in everybody's list of music they listen to, or you know. But it always has such a great following. Yeah, I mean, people who are into the scene mm -hmm. are very into the scene and you know, are dedicated to it and pay attention to what's going on to it, what's going on in the scene. So, um, you know, there is that strong fan base there, which is great. Now, you're touring and it's just you two. Yep. Just us. So, what's the stage show going to be like? It's uh, just my keyboards and computers, mm -hmm. kind of on like where the drums would be, I okay. guess, in the middle of the stage. And then I'm kind of prancing around. Yeah. Kind of uh, un underworld esque. Very. Yeah. Yes, underworld, exactly. Erasure, mm -hmm. Headshot Boys. All that. Mm -hmm. Daft Punk, but we're not next to each other. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. You know, same, same sort of situation all if you've seen any of those acts plays. And then in the opening acts, no bands at all, just DJs. Just right? DJs. Yeah, mm -hmm. we wanted to, I mean, being that it's dance music, we wanted to, you know, continue with the dance club vibe that we have on stage during our set. Um, and to set it up with that, you know, that type of feeling and that type of mood. Uh, we initially actually wanted to play dance clubs on the entire tour, but it really didn't work out like we wanted okay. to. And the first show we played was at a dance club in San Francisco called Pop Scene, which is a oh, long-standing, nice. um, you know, Britpop is their traditional mm -hmm. format, but they allow right. all sorts of different bands to come to play. Was it at the big San Francisco club? Was it 1015? No. Uh, where is 1015? Isn't it? Um, That's somewhere, but it is somewhere. it's not. I saw um, Digweed there years ago. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is this is more of a Britpop club. Okay, very cool. Very okay, cool. yeah. Now, when you pick DJs, since you are such super fans of electronic music, how do you choose what DJs to go on tour? Is it local? Is it people that you bring with you? Yes, local because you know we can't really command the you know DJ that would be someone we actually listen to. We, mm -hmm. You know, we we can't since we're playing these small clubs, we can't be like you know BT. We come DJ our <laughs> yeah. show, open up for us. So. It's mainly like local guys. AM's fantastic. It would be great yeah, to have AM. Okay. Uh, you know. Let's go over and talk to him. He's here, isn't he? We'll do it right now during the break. He probably will, will definitely agree to do that. I think yeah. so. Yeah. We'll talk to maybe him. L maybe LA. LA? We'll fly him out. Okay. We are jet setters. We've yeah. got a lot more black audio when the sauce comes back. <laughs> Okay, welcome back to The Saw. Steven here chatting with the gentleman of Black Audio. Now, Jade, mm -hmm. you produced the whole record. What was it like sitting behind the boards? Uh, it was pretty easy because the boards were off on laptops. Okay. Because in actually going in the studio was only really about five days where we went in to do the vocals. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, that's the thing about technology these days really frees you up and, you know. So did you do it like on tour with AFI? Did you just do it at yeah, in hotels? Yeah, at things? home in, in my room or uh, at airports. You know, waiting for a plane on the bus, you know, it's, it's nice. Just, All over the world. I just mm -hmm. love the fact that you're just, what are you doing? I'm uh, just recording a record. Yeah. Right now, yeah. just sitting here in the lobby. Yeah. Um, now, when when you, you say guys grew, uh, not, I don't want to say grew up, but a big, big electronic 
music fans, and we were talking during the break about uh, electronic music. Doesn't really need like uh, like a major label. It's always been there. It's always been something that uh, has their own diehard fan base. Do you think that this is your attempt to, I guess, more bring it to the the masses? That was never really our attempt. I mean, we just being fans of the music really needed mm -hmm. to be a part of creating it, just you know, for ourselves because mm -hmm. we enjoy it so much. Yeah. Um, the acceptance that it's had so far uh, on alternative rock radio, yeah. which in and of itself is very strange and something mm -hmm. that we never expected, um, is unexpected to us. Mm -hmm. uh, we really were just making it for people who, who are fans who might appreciate it and, and for ourselves. So having any sort of mainstream attention to it is, is really great. And, yeah, it's awesome. and if that results in people getting involved in the greater electronic scene mm -hmm. and getting into a lot of the artists that are currently creating electronica, of whatever genre, if that results in that, that would be absolutely fantastic because there's so much good yeah. out there going on right now. Yeah, there's a um, lot that should be, you know, get get more of a spotlight than it's getting. I think it's I think it's a great introduction for people, and it's just really true to the form. Now, is it true that a couple of songs, uh, that a couple of AFI songs on Simper Underground started out as Black Audio? Yeah, there's a couple. Love Like Winter, for instance, which mm -hmm. actually was our second single yeah. off the, you know. I, originally programmed that as a black audio song and it had kind of like this Motown drum loop thing and it was all electronic but then you know we were in a hotel and I played it for Dave and like you know we were kind of messing around with it and he put a melody to it and we're like wow this is kind of like a rock song yeah. so we said you know let's try this as a rock song and obviously it worked for works us. out works out both ways yeah. now I want to talk about fashion here briefly gentlemen yes. the suits they look marvelous. Thank, Thank you. you. Stunning. Thank you. Thank you and I mean, you guys are very fashion conscious in AFI, but I it's want. It's Fashion Week. It is Fashion Week here, here in New York. In New York. Which it's, is very exciting. It's a good time for electronic music. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Week. Always wonderful. Absolutely. Uh, the suits, is this is this like your way of saying, you know, they just. I don't want to say like stepping up saying we're like electronic, but uh, in a way I want to say it seems to harken back to, you know, the German electronic uh, legend. <laughs> Certainly with anything we do, we like our aesthetic to be cohesive, mm -hmm. um, you know, and this was something that we naturally decided to do on our, on our own mm -hmm. um, and present ourselves in this way for this project. Uh, it's, you know, something that we, you know, do in our, our regular lives on occasion. Mm -hmm. And so it was just implementing this into this you know, facet of our self-expression. Since, since our sort of, you know, that kind of German, um, yes, kind of crap work, work, you know, Dran Dran, very fashionable band, yeah, of course, um, you know, which is one of the earlier bands that we got into, who mm -hmm. are very synth heavy. Yes, um, completely. You know, they always they always looked great. That Nick Rhodes. Ah, oh, yes. Can't deny it. Undeniable. Yeah. I was inspired today. Yes. Uh, there's going to be a video. There is a video. Stiff Kittens. Stiff Kittens, yes. Tell us about it. Uh, we shot Stiff Kittens with our friend Mark Webb, mm -hmm. which oh, was yeah. a fantastic <laughs> experience. We, you know, we love working with Mark and have worked with him since mm -hmm. 2000, 2001. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, he was very nice enough to agree to take part in, in working on the Stiff Kittens video and, and do it for us. Um, at his house. At his house. Oh, wow. He shot opened up his house. Basement. Yeah, we shot under his house. We didn't have really a basement. budget. And so, you know, Mark Webb's a big time director yeah. now. And we, so he's like, you know, we'll do it at my house. And he, they made all the stuff in the basement, him and his, his the, uh, the other director. And yeah, it was great. And actually, we hope to have a clip today, but we don't. I think we do, right? No, we? We, we thought we had one, but uh, it, it, it got lost in transit. Oh, oh, Stephen's yeah. got lost in transit. Yeah, I told him and oh, I ruined that's a shame. everything. Liar. But what will not ruin anything is this album, Sex Sells by Black Audio. Thank you guys so much for coming by. Absolutely. Always Thanks a pleasure having us. you here. Now let's go right over to uh, Holly and Jared.